I'm working on my fourth and final master block for redfish bluefish and I decided that I would split this block and do both of the fish colors at the same time. You can see that in my round two I split the colors and I used two reds and two blues. I then added round three and I'm ready to add the last two fabric strips. When we finished our first master block the last piece we added was a ten and a half inch square. That would be divided and turn into a total of four fish bodies. Since we'll be splitting the colors into red and blue for this block, we're going to use one half of each ten and a half inch square. So I've cut my ten and a half inch square on the diagonal. I'm happy with the positioning now, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch out the first side. Now I'm going to flip the first triangle so that the fabric is out of the way. position the fabric that's going to become the red fish body on the side opposite of the blue. When I position the fabric I'm taking care to feel for the cutting line that we stitched out in color break one and I can tell that the cutting line is just to the inside of my red edge. And what's interesting about what is going to happen when we get ready to cut is that the red and the blue will overlap each other along the edges and the extra fabric is just going to fall away after we cut. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start the next color break. So with two sides finished, we'll go ahead and start the next color break. That looks great and for the fourth side I'm going to bring the blue back into position. Now that I'm happy with my positioning I'm just going to check and make sure that my fabric strip is fully extended so I don't create any gaps as I stitch out the very last stitching line. And that completes the fourth and final master block for redfish bluefish. Next up is cutting and trimming the blocks to release all of our fish.